you're really struggling and you've been learning for six months seven months eight months and you're still not advancing much then you definitely need to consider getting help <laughs> welcome back to a new video today I'm going to discuss 10 common mistakes beginner language learners make so if you want to know then definitely stay tuned we're gonna get right into this topic one of the first mistakes the most common mistake new language learners make is setting too high of a goal setting a goal when learning a new language is definitely key but the right goal is also key so if you want to set a goal then set a realistic goal don't set unrealistic goals like most people want to learn Japanese in two months or three months and be fluent but this is very unrealistic so if you're setting goals then you need to know according to the language you're learning how realistic is the goal you're setting really because if you want to be fluent in Mandarin Chinese in a year or in six months that is most probably not going to happen so you need to know that this is an unrealistic goal knowing that will definitely make you more relaxed and enjoy the journey talking about enjoying the journey second most common mistake most language learners make new language learners is they're not really enjoying the journey I see so many comments and kind of like complaints about people saying I'm, I've been learning Spanish for like the past six months and I'm not really advancing but enjoy the overall journey like why are you getting frustrated sometimes I cannot relate because I see language learning from such a different angle I don't really see it as like a hassle or a task but it's not only because it's easy for me some people might say that but actually I enjoy the journey so even if it might be that I'm not fluent in a couple of months in a certain language I'm definitely going to enjoy the journey because I enjoy the process of learning the new language so this is what you should keep in mind when you're a beginner in a new language definitely enjoy the process because this is also key to ultimately getting to your goal next most common mistake is definitely to be afraid or to be fearful of making mistakes and this is something I always discuss on my channel I've been discussing this ever since I've been making language learning language related content that this is one of the key goals in order to like be successful in your language learning if you want to be very successful then definitely you need to get rid of this fear or like being afraid to open up your mouth and speak and make mistakes you're definitely gonna make mistakes and this is the beauty of it actually because making the more mistakes you make the more you can actually learn because we didn't get to fluency in our native language by speaking perfectly right the day we were born we make mistakes as children the same way we're making mistakes right now when we're learning a new language as adults but as children we don't really care when we make mistakes as children you might conjugate incorrectly and then your parents are gonna correct you but you're not really ashamed or you're not really afraid to make that same mistake or to correct yourself because you don't simply care but as adults we have this thing where we care where we are afraid of what other people might think or how they might perceive our like language skills so all of these things that ball up in our head you need to get rid of this if you want to successfully reach your goal then you need to definitely get rid of having this fear of speaking you know because most people because of that that leads me to the next point only focus on grammar and they focus too much on grammar some people have it on their minds that you have to know all the grammar in one language but they barely focus on the speaking part and the speaking part is so important because you ultimately want to speak that's the goal of learning a language so you don't want to just be able to read it or able to just uh, understand it what most people say I'm so tired of hearing this most people are just like yeah like I understand but I don't speak well just understanding okay it can get you a little bit like where you want to be but just understanding is ultimately not gonna get you very very far it's like with kids it doesn't really matter that they understand they also ultimately have to be able to communicate in the language so um, this is the same with adults 
learning new languages you ultimately have to jump over this barrier of just understanding you want to progress so definitely don't focus too much on grammar the grammar will come later i always say focus first on the oral communication of course you have to have the basics of the grammar but don't worry about all the complicated intricate grammar rules and definitely focus on speaking this is so important um, I always stress that right from the beginning focus on getting your oral communications across and really improving them because not speaking enough will make you passive and as a language learner you want to be active being passive is the most detrimental thing you can do as a language learner you just understand but you don't speak so basically it doesn't serve you well like just understanding but if you want to get to fluency or whatever your goal is definitely step up your game and don't be passive speak 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 what I always say so this is another mistake most people make they don't speak enough and you have so many apps and I heard so many people saying well I don't have anybody to talk to there's so many apps literally like even free apps like for example hello talk is one of the best apps I always recommend uh, I have a link down in the description box below so definitely go and just download it's free just download the app and you can start talking to native speakers all over the world in like almost any language you want to practice so you just go on there and chat with people from all over I used to do that right from the start I used to chat with people from all over download apps like hello talk and just start chatting and speaking with people so this is something you also definitely want to do right from the start Another common mistake, aside from setting goals that are way too high and overwhelming, is definitely wanting to learn everything on your own. Of course, if you know that you are that type of learner who can deal with everything on their own, who can learn by themselves, then that's good for you. But if you notice along the way that you're really struggling and you've been learning for six months, seven months, eight months, and you're still not advancing much, then you definitely need to consider getting help it's like with anything in life if you notice that you're struggling by yourself there's always someone to help you so you need to be the one going out to look for help so if you're noticing that you're having struggles just like learning by yourself because a lot of people are not simply made to learn a new language by themselves they need help and needing help and getting help is not a bad thing at all. I feel like today everything is made out to be, oh, learn this by yourself, learn, do this at home, do learn, take these lessons at home. And you can do basically anything by yourself nowadays. You can teach yourself photography, you can teach yourself languages, like anything you can do by yourself. But it is also very good to have someone there to actually help you. I definitely advise to get a tutor, like on italki, you can get a tutor, a community, and you can like tailor everything to your liking. Everything you wanna learn, you will find on there with a personal tutor who will teach you and who will focus on the things you're struggling with. You might not even struggle, but you just want someone who is always there you can talk to. Someone who will cater to your personal questions, your personal doubts you might have. So everything like that. I also used to do that. I used to get myself a tutor. Don't think that I did everything by myself. I did everything on my own. No, definitely not. I always used to either have people I would speak to or I used to get a tutor who is a professional in what I'm learning. So ultimately, getting a tutor is one of the best things you could do. Check the links down below. I always have links to like apps, to tutors, to um, language communities you can join. So I definitely check my links down below. Another common mistake is just learning too many languages. I've seen this so many times. I've um, done several videos on this because people keep asking me, should I learn Japanese and Korean, but I also want to learn French and this and that. Like, I always advise just to learn one language at a time it doesn't mean that you have to stick to just one language but i always advise taking steps mini steps you know focus on one first and then go up and but some people don't want to do that and you can definitely learn several language at once but the success rate i think it's much lower because you it's kind of like tackling a lot of different things at the same time and you won't be really good at like you won't be really good at either of these because it's like everything else in life if you do so many things at once it's really hard to perfect a skill it's really hard for example to perfect 
playing football and then at the same time you're swimming you're horseback riding you're doing like so many you know those kids who are doing so many things so usually if you focus on one or two things this is where you will get the best at so with language learning i see it the same way if you focus on one or maximum two at a time then you will have so much time to dedicate to it not only time but you have also your your passion your motivation to dedicate to it tackling too many things at a time is not always good in most cases it's even worse Another common mistake is just learning a language simply because it's either popular or you need to learn it or whatever reason, but it's not really a reason um, of motivation. So this is another mistake because this will also definitely lower your success rate if you're not really motivated to learn people are asking me sometimes why don't you learn dutch why don't you learn russian i don't really have a motive and incentive to learn those languages you know so if i would have a motivation behind then i would have something that would push me that would make me look forward to learning it but as of right now i don't have it so that's why i don't learn it and most people don't go about language learning that way they simply learn because they have to and we see how that goes when you learn a language in school for example because you have to there is not much outcome afterwards another common mistake is simply not having the right study routine some people need a study routine other people don't like i'm not the one who necessarily needs a study routine but a lot of you guys do and if you are planning to do a study routine definitely plan out your routine um according to the language you're learning but also uh, plan your activities around the language you're learning as i'm always saying don't overload your routine i got a question in my life um how many hours is accurate to study a language i can't tell you how many hours because it's according to you i can't tell you to sit there for five straight hours it there's no sense it doesn't mean that if you learn and study for five hours a day you're gonna be more successful than someone who might just watch a movie for an hour in that language that person might even be more successful or might learn more than you having studied five hours so that's why i would never define a successful study routine on the amount of hours you're studying because i was not the one to do that at all other people on other channels other polyglots might advise that i'm not the one who would advise that this is the key here you need to figure out what works for you personally don't do what other people do don't make out this weekly study routine where you study three two straight hours a day just to find out that you are not really learning much and it doesn't really motivate you and you're bored of studying grammar and all those things because this will ultimately also hinder your success in learning a new language another common mistake is translating in your head i talked about it also in one of my previous videos translating in your head you need to get rid of that right from the start try not to translate from your native language into the new language you're learning because if you're doing that you will always find yourself having to translate every single word you're wanting to say in that new language so if you're um, getting accustomed to not translating so much right from the start you will actually get accustomed to thinking in that language straight and directly a lot of people comment and ask me how I'm able to switch between languages so easily and that is basically because I've trained myself to think in that language right now if I'm speaking English I will think in English if I'm speaking in Spanish I will think everything in Spanish so my native language doesn't really determine the language I'm speaking right now I'm not thinking in German first and then translating into English but you need to train that from the start too of course I'm not saying that it's gonna be right like this but um it's definitely a process and if you start it right in the beginning then you will definitely get used to it and you will just do it automatically all right those were the common mistakes beginners language learners make i hope that you find yourself in one of these things and that you can change them and get to your ultimate language learning goals and be successful in your language learning thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next video bye